this song, Park, and I will talk about dynamic sub array architecture for wideband hybrid precoding in millimeter wave minor systems. Uh, now, let's briefly review the hybrid precoding. The left figure shows the conventional MIMO, so such as the digital baseband precoding, and the right figure shows the hybrid as analog digital precoding. In the conventional MIMO systems, the the precoding is performed in the baseband, and each antenna requires its own RF chain. So the power consumption is very high because these RF chains is a very power consuming element. So to reduce the power consumption, the hybrid uh, architecture has been used. In this hybrid architecture, the precoding process are divided into two parts. There are in the basement, <coughs> the basement part and the RF and <coughs> these two precoders are so connected through this uh, RF chain. And the number of RF chains is less than the number of RF antennas. So it can reduce the power. But the most prior work in the hybrid architecture uh, assume that just narrow band system. So this architecture cannot apply to wideband systems. Let's look at why. The left figure shows the narrowband hybrid precoding model and the right figure shows the wideband hybrid precoding model. We assume that MIMO I O F T L. And the in the right figure, the actually the baseband precoding is performed before the IFFT, so it is performed in the uh, frequency band. So it can adapt to the frequency select channels. But on the other hand, the analog precoder is FRF. is performed after this F IFFT. So it is performed in the time domain. So it cannot be applied to adapt to, to this uh, frequency select channel. So this is a uh, distinguishing point compared to narrowband system. In the narrowband hybrid precoding, there are two constraints on this analog precoder. The first is that the number of RF chains is less than the number of antennas. And the second is that the analog precoder is composed of phase shifters. But on the other end, in the wideband hybrid precoder, there are uh, there exists an additional constraint that this analog precoder FRF is should be common for all sort of carriers. Now uh, this figure shows the, uh, there are two different types of hybrid structure. One is the fully connected structure and the other is the partially connected structure which is known as the uh, subarray structure. In the fully connected structure, like this figure, the, each the RF chain is connected to all antennas. So this analog precoder can be represented as this N RF, NTX by an RF matrix. And so in this case, N, RF, and TX phase shifters and N, TX adders are necessary. But in the partial connected structure, this RF chain is connected to only a subset of the antennas. So <coughs> in this case, the analog RF precoder is also can be represented as this M, TX by N, RF, but like this uh, block diagram term. In this case, the only NR and TX phase shifters are necessary, so it can reduce the complexity and the cost. Now let's talk, uh, let's think about the wideband hybrid precoding design. The our goal is to maximize the sum of the perturbed carrier module information like this form. And but there are this uh, coupling between the analog precoder and the baseband precoder uh, makes this problem uh, difficult to solve. But we can use this simple trick, and in this case, this equation one can be represented as this equation two. These two equations are, the, these two optimization problems are equivalent. In this case, if this analog precoder FRF is given, the optimum solution of this baseband precoders can be found by using a conventional SVD scheme, the single variable composition scheme with respect to this uh, 
it takes channels and each serve carries. Now, once the once the optimum, the baseband precoder for each serve carrier is determined, given this analog precoder, the optimization problem is only with the with respect to this analog precoder, not this form the case of three. And uh, unfortunately, there is no closed form solution to this uh, equation three. Or instead, let us maximize the sum of squared single barrels of effective channels. If the physical meaning is to maximize the sum of defective SNR per server carrier and string, like this equation form. In this case, there, uh, there exists a closed form solution, like this one. The, this VR is the left, uh, right singular vectors of this uh, sample covariance matrix. And if we consider the phase shift constraint like this one, then the, the solution with this constraint can be represented as this form. This is the, the solution in the fully connected case. And in the partially connected case, we can also derive the closed form solutions like this one. Now let's compare these two different architecture. In the fully connected structure, the objective function of this uh, optimization problem is like this left figure. And uh, in the, uh, the partial connected structure, the effective, uh, the object function can be represented as this right figure. And the, uh, please note that this uh, the <coughs> objective function in the fully connected case, depends on just this R matrix. On the other hand, the, in the partial connected case, this objective function depends not only on this covariance matrix, but also on the partition. It means that how to partition this uh, server rate structure uh, effect, uh, affects the performance. So, then the one question comes up, which is the best server rate structure in this uh, UAA case or UK case? In the UAA case, uniform linear array case, this adjacent type is the best or this interlaced type is best. Or in the UPA case, horizontal, vertical, or scale type. Or the best the type may not be one of these. But we know that the best server rate structure depends on the, this R matrix. And we propose a dynamic server structure that adapt to this R matrix. Uh, this is the problem formulation of the dynamic server. Rate. So what, she, uh, what we should do is to partition a set of NTX antennas into N RF subsets. And the optimal, the optimal criteria is like to maximize the sum of the, the largest eigenvectors of this server matrices. But there the optimal solution is to uh, optimal solution is exhaustive search, but the number of total cases is known as the stalling number of the second kind and it's very large number. So the you need to check too many cases, so you need to calculate the singular value at every case. So we can use in uh, this exhaustive search in practical systems. So I propose, we propose the rather approach that use the approximation of the largest singular value. And we define the approximate largest singular value as this form, the sum of the absolute values. And this, the, the <coughs> this approximate value has a useful property. The, this value uh, existed between this the lower bound and the upper bound of the exact largest singular values. And the lower and upper bound on the largest single value of the exact value is known as like this one. And this is the, uh, the dynamic server rate partition algorithm. We use the approximate of the largest singular value as we uh, saw in the previous slide. And the, this algorithm is, uh, has a polynomial time. And one of the, I note that this the dynamic survey partition, it does not have to be performed in, 
in the every TTI. This is the only, uh, this the partition, it depends on only the covariance matrix, which is a long function of statics. So this algorithm, uh, we, the base station is uh, needed to perform this the partitioning algorithm uh, in a very long term. Uh, this is a channel model for our simulation. We use the geometric channel model. And each channel pass has the, the multiple subways. And this is the simulation result. Left figure shows the factor efficiency versus the FTNR. And you can see that the vibrate, uh, a fully connected case is very close to the digital basement case. And the dynamic subarray structure, dynamic subarrays uh, better than any other fixed subway structures. And the uh, right figure shows the number of transfer antenna versus the spectral efficiency, and the trend is the, the same. Now, the, let's conclude the, this slide. The, we derived the closed form solutions for wideband hybrid precoding in the fully connected structure and the partially connected structure. And uh, in the partial connected structure, we propose the dynamic subway structure based on the special channel covariance matrix. Thank you.